all needs to be done. Well, this brings me to our next guest, musician Limsey, who's abandoned his plan to become a lawyer to focus on releasing music that spreads the message of eradicating knife crime from the streets of the UK. Limsey experienced the reality of violence in London as both a child and an adult and now produces music to generate strong messages which can be heard in his latest hit, Bots. Uh, let's have a listen. Out to the parents, please be aware that half the kids are going out, really unprepared that there's exploited people around in the areas, reducing their choices, claiming the carers. Half of them ain't bad, man, but had to adapt, man. Now they got killers all over the Snapchat and running bank scams. But here's the facts, man. How can we say they come and half of the bank? Well, uh, Lemzy is here with us now. Uh, really good to see you. Um, you went to the same university as I did to start a career in law. Why the change of direction? Uh, the change in direction just simply because what I experienced post-graduation um, in like the professional fields, I didn't feel really resonated with who I am as a person necessarily. So I thought music is something I've been doing for years, years and years. So while I was in primary school, secondary school, just as a hobby. And then throughout uni, I really found my passion in it and found a way that I could explore it a bit more. And subsequent to me being uh, graduating, I thought, yeah, this is actually what I really want to do. So let me actually go for it. You know? Tell us about the message that you're trying to get off. Um, yeah, I, first and foremost, I should say, like, my position is not the anti-knife crime person in music at all. Um, this year we saw a spike, as you reported as well. And because I live in an area uh, where these things do happen, I know people who unfortunately have been through these situations as well, I thought, as an artist, it's my responsibility almost for me to kind of get that message across that this isn't something that needs to happen. There are ways that we can get around this. And the song Bots in particular looks at the various different facets of what may cause this or what may um, be done to kind of resolve the issue. So I try and address the parents, I try and address the government, I try and address the people actually out there committing such incidents. So for me, music is very much about self-expression, giving my own introspection as well as expressing what I see on an external basis as well. Um, it's such a complicated issue um, and there's no simple answer to, yeah. you know, solving the issue of knife crime on our streets. I mean, fundamentally, what would you say are the most important um, parts of this, of this struggle to fight knife crime? Um, if I'm to look at it, I would say people need to feel that they're appreciated and loved, which will sound very difficult because it's not a tangible thing at all. But that's where it stems from, usually. It stems from people feeling that that's their last resort. It's not, it's not playtime, it's not playful, it's not fun for a lot of people that end up being in those situations, but they feel they have to. And it's because a lot of resources, whether it's something familial, whether it's something um, financial, or just societal as well, it feels like there's an abandonment that a lot of these people have to go through. So very much a feeling of belonging um, and a feeling of opportunity, I think, are the things that really need to be done. So stuff like Stop and Search, maybe it has contributed, but there are also many things that can be done on the ground. There are lots of organisations and individuals that are really trying to help young people on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I mean, what are your thoughts on Stop and Search? Because um, the, the Met Chief Cressida Dick has said that the figures have gone down in comparison to um, this time last year. That is largely because of Stop and Search. But, you know, another side of the argument is that actually it really has a, a detrimental impact on the relationship between the police and the community. Yeah. Um, to be honest, both are true. <laughs> both are true. It does uh, have that negative implication. I'm sure it does help in many situations, but I feel like there's such a focus on that being the resolution that it kind of eradicates other notions that might actually be of benefit. So my thing is very much engagement and engagement is very, very important in how you engage. Mm -hmm. So stop and search could be a form of engagement. However, the consequences of it is it's very um, dogmatic. Whereas if you had an engagement process whereby kids from a young age are being shown an alternative way or are getting help in another as another sense, then I feel that those are the things that we should really be looking at more so. Um, uh, uh, on the issue of, you know, or, or on the idea of, you know, getting the message and engaging with young people, you know, are young people prepared to listen? I think so. I work in schools, so I go into a number of different schools in my area around Essex as well. Um, I've worked with young offenders before and you just have to... These are young people, you know, their minds are very much still developing and you have to give them time, give them time to vent and express themselves. Sometimes they're angry, sometimes they're just energetic or frustrated, but 
give them time and then give them what you can. So for me, it's very much just, I've been surrounded by positivity, whether it's family, friends, etc. Let me impart that on other people as much as I can, whether it's through music or directly being in their presence as well. How have they responded to your music? Usually quite well, you know, they have their own taste. <laughs> usually. <laughs> yeah, usually I can't, I can't say everyone's a huge fan, but you know, it's not my job to make everybody love my music. It's just for me to try and represent myself the best I can. And then hopefully that resonates with as many people as possible. Uh, what next for, for next year? Uh, so I had an album that came out just a week and a half ago called Lecky, uh, starting the year off of a headline show in Rich Mix and Shoreditch. And then from there, just looking to really expand the brand as much as possible. So more schools, hopefully can go into more schools get the album out to as many places as possible and of course do as many big performances as i can inspiring yeah. stuff lemzy good to see thank, thank you, you very much man. good luck with next good. year thank you uh, look now some of the uh,